I'm Terry Genderbender of the Butcherettes, and you are watching Favorites on Live in Limbo. Honestly enough that we were pr pr we have the privilege of being able to cross the border from uh, New York into Canada. Sometimes it's very hard. Um, and, and sadly enough, sometimes uh, there's a lot of skin colors in our band from dark shades to very pale. I'm the palest. And, 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 and sadly enough, uh, it works where the, the woman, me, and the whitest person in our band has to be up front because usually that's the way they let us go fastest. Because we've tried it before where, I know, Ricardo, he, the, our, our bass player, he's, he's a darker shade of, of, of brown. And it's, it's always, they give us a little more of a hard time. I don't know if, if it's because of generalizations or, you know, I have no idea, but it is still very much ingrained, especially in borders, because you have that mentality of, oh, you're not going to get in my country because I protect it, which I see that perspective. But to answer your question, I think today was very good because they let us in through without having to take our clothes off, which has happened before. <laughs> Hey, I understand. It's a beautiful country. There's a reason why the economy is doing so well here, so you have to protect it. That's a good question. Are rock bands the enemy? I do not know. Maybe for someone up there. <laughs> Who is my favorite Instagrammer or my favorite person to follow on Twitter? I would have to say that um, lately enough, I've been really having a laugh with... Uh, Alejandro Jodorowsky's Twitter account. He's an 80-something-year-old man that has been known for uh, being a great director, but especially in, in the comic book world, he's also done great story writings and novels. And he's he puts very short phrases on the Internet that that make you think a lot, that it's not just something like, oh, hey, me, 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 you know, he's more like, hey, here's the philosophical quote of the day. Think about it. You're welcome. There's one funny one uh, about a woman. She goes up to her man and she says, Oh, you don't love me enough. And he's like, what are you talking about? Of course I do. Look, I'll kill myself. So he kills himself. And then she says, Oh, you don't love me enough. You, you're dead and you're not with me. So basically the, the morale of the story is you can never make a woman happy. <laughs> And then I know from experience, hey, it's pretty hard to make someone truly happy. Not just women or anyone, but just in general. So it's a funny, it's a funny little Twitter thing that he put on. My favorite movement of making a raw youth was just basically being able to not be so uptight in the studio because we're with family. Our producer, Omar Rodriguez Lopez, he's one of our best friends. Uh, we've been collaborating for more than five years now. So I, I think it's just that the easygoingness of, oh, let's try something new. Oh, I, I have this melody in my head. What can we do to make it better? So he's very, um, just very open to, to suggesting ideas also. And I, and, and if I don't like something, I can freely be like, you know what? No, let's move on to the next thing or the next sound, the next tone. And basically the liberty. Many people take that for granted of, 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 of speaking their mind because sometimes it's easy to just be quiet and say, yeah, of course, that sound is good, even though you're not visioning it that way. But yeah, it's the free communication that we have with our, our band and our producer. The most difficult and challenging part of making this album is getting out of bed in the morning. I think that's the hardest part. Once you're out of bed and you brush your teeth, get that bad bed, uh, bed head smell out of your mouth, if that makes any sense, you're set to go. You're set to go because I think that's where you have all these uh, uh, feelings of, of uh, what's the word, laziness. You're like, oh, why even bother? No one's going to care. Or, or my voice sounds bad. Or, you know, you have those little demons in your head that, that try to put you down. Just stay in bed all day. Why even get out? But once you overcome that, whoo, and you feel it and you feel the weight kind of get out of your back, you stretch a little bit and, uh, yeah, the rest is Fun, happy troubles, as they say. Oh, the, the console's not working today. Okay, let's just take a little breather. Go go watch a movie, eat some popcorn. Yeah, smell our fingers afterwards. Mm. Butter. One of the main things that helps me overcome, oh, I know it sounds so cliche, but my, my, my pets. I have three kittens 
One recently passed away because of the cold winter. He he left the house and and and, and he was found the next day frozen. That kept me in bed for a long time when that happened. But now the other two, the remaining ones, they 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 motivate me to, to you know, I'm their mother, so I wanna I wanna be able to feed them. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, they're uh, Ismael. He's an orange little cat. And and his sister, she she's the complete opposite. She's gray. Her name's Sophia, and and she's oh uh, she's she's a, a diva. He's mad. He's more of a little bubbly boy. Yeah. Uh, one of the favorite uh, favorite songs to, to record in the studio for the new record. The first one to come to my head is "Stab My Back" because we were able to have fun with samples of that that I did for the demos. So it was cool to have a little bit of what I did in in, in a crappy little four track cassette in, in, into the production of the overall album, and uh, without making it sound kind of, I think, cheap. It, it, I think it added a little extra element of rawness. Yeah. Oh my God, I use that word, but you know, you know what I mean. Yeah. And my favorite fan interaction at a concert. Oh, there was one time a, a very pregnant woman went to the show and, uh, it was, there, it was a very, very, uh, sudden scare because she thought for a second that her water had broken and she yelled it during in, in the middle of a set. And I was like, Oh, stop the show. Was, are you sure? Are you okay? She's like, I think so. But she's like, no, false alarm. Let's go on. Let's continue for the show. So, she, uh, when we finished playing and loading out, she stayed waiting and I was just impressed by the resilience in herself to, to have that patience with a child inside of her to wait to say hello and, 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 and express her gratitude for the music. That was very, uh, gives you perspective. You know, when you, when you complain that, oh, I have to wake up at six in the morning and drive to Toronto, you know, that those are beautiful, amazing problems to have. If you, if you, if you, not, you know, quote unquote, because there's lots of, a lot of musicians that, that complain all the time that, oh my God, we have to drive. We have to go on a plane. Those are, those are blessings. My, my mother wishes she could travel when she was younger. So I think that's, that's basically one of the mind opening things when I saw that pregnant woman swollen about to burst and she was still there at a rock concert. Oh my God. That'd be, that'd be so, so cute. Oh my. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> my favorite song to perform live off of the re the new record oh i think it has to be oh my lord maybe stab my back as well i'm on i'm on a whole kick where where i really like uh because rico he's he's playing the sampler in that song so the same thing the recordings that i did for for the demos are being played live and there's an interaction where I get to play around with the pitch pedal, make it, make my guitar sound like a bass. So I, I like it cause it's out of my comfort zone. It has more of a funk element to it. And, um, I, I, but that song, Betty Davis is my complete inspiration for that song. That, 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 that attitude of, oh, I'm here and I want to be sensual, but I'm not anybody's item. I'm my own woman. And so basically, basically, yeah, that, that, that's a song for her. My favorite artist right now to listen to, the first band that comes to my mind is Savages. I really like Aves Aveses, a great band from Mexico. Yokozuna, another band from Mexico City. Um, oh, there's so many from, from Apollo, another great band from, from Mexico. Uh, Cardiel, they're a band from Venezuela. So I'm basically a sucker for, for bands that just play live and really mean it, what they're, what they're singing and praising about. Yeah. That one of the things that I do to stay positive, especially while being on the road, is surround myself and involve myself in social contexts. Because it's very easy, especially if you're an introvert by heart, to shut yourself off and, 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 and wait until someone wakes you up or something. So I'm, I'm trying to always, for example, watch the whole shows or say hello to people just because that that starts reminding you that, hey, we're all one. We're all going to die someday, so we might as well enjoy each other while we can. When I'm on tour, some of my favorite hobbies outside of music is crocheting. I love sweeping and brooming, organizing my closet, and being able to uh, fold all the laundry according to colors, color coordinating. Yeah, it just, it's really relaxing. It's kind of, uh, 
because as it is, my hands are always super hyperactive. So it's good to either have them calm with instruments or with household items where I can be cleaning or writing in my journals. Yeah. Yes. I, when there's messes in the van, I clean them right away. But, the, but then again, everyone in the band is super clean either way too. Yeah. Even the dressing rooms, when we're done, uh, playing, I, I make sure that the dressing room are, are, are how they were when we found them. Wow. The entire world. What is my f most famous venue to play at? Oh my God. That's a tough one. I mean, I can't, nothing's ever going to replace the Efe Bolko, the, the, which is one of the first venues where we started playing at. And that's where a lot of magical situations occurred. That's where I met our longtime friend Omar right there when the lights went out and we were singing a cappella. Um, and I, I, yeah, I think that's my favorite venue because that's where most of our roots came from. My most treasured instrument right now or object is my ukulele. I love traveling with it because it's instant gratification. You can just make a little song on the moment and, and release tension that you have in the back. I have flat feet, so it's really good to play that little uke and let go of anything that you have inside. Um, some songs originally start in the ukulele, and, and some others sometimes are in the theremin or just playing around with, uh, there's like this really interesting Eastern, Middle Eastern instrument. I don't know what the name is, but it's like a sliding, interesting wood, made of wood, green wood, and just, I really love acoustic instruments in general because it's, it's right here, there's, no stalling with the cables of where am I going to find the amp. So, yeah, definitely. Oh, my, my first guitar. Oh, it was a, it was a blue fender, uh, a, a blue fender strat and my father bought it for me. But then years later after he passed away, I left it in a, in, in a friend's car somewhere in downtown Guadalajara and some son of, sons of a guns, they, they broke into the car and stole it. And that was the one token I had that was, directly from him and but yeah that was my first guitar no but thank you for asking uh, it's good to be able to share stories the favorite moment or accomplishment in the band's history oh Ooh, there's so many i just because i honestly didn't expect that i was going to be able to live off of this ever or, or more likely be broke because of this <laughs> but um uh, uh meeting omar yeah he's my been my best friend and and he's always stuck through the band uh, through thick and thin so meeting him there at the efe bolco in guadalajara that's one of a great a great natural accomplishment very organic <laughs> <laughs>